Okay, more excitement at the marina. We are down at the uh, entrance to the marina, this uh, stone and concrete break wall that is our approach from Lake Simcoe. And where last night a boat apparently ran up on the rocks or shore, whatever, anyways. They are pumping water out of it now. It's obviously partially sunk. A beautiful 390 Sea Ray Sundancer, probably in around an 08. And uh, so we're just going to walk down there and check it out and uh, be ghouls for a day and just see what's going on. We already have uh, the news crews here. See, they're trying to tow it. I'm going to switch to my other camera. Look how uh, high the stern is out of the water. Oh, he's running anyways. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get her going. Yeah. Look at how high the bow is out of the water. He uh, is. You know why? There's a little dip there and it's up to the top. It's up to the top of the sand. Give her, boys. Give her. I think you're going to have to wait for another uh, high tide. Yeah. 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 What else are you gonna do? I guess you said they couldn't get it all. No. So yeah, so this is where uh Buddy came to rest. Yeah. And so we still have uh, chunks of fiberglass sitting here. Yeah, so hit here and then uh, you can see it push this rock right back. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, push that rock back and Took a chunk right out of the hull. Here, hold that piece up there, Webby. This chunk? Yeah, the fiberglass. Yep. Well. And good. there's his bottom coat there. So yeah. That's ripped right through. Hey, that's a piece of sea ray you just threw down there. Uh, show a little bit more respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot as a carver owner, you know. Yeah. I'm not used to seeing them in pieces like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? But. Uh, all joking aside, hopefully the owner's okay. Yeah. Because like you said, he was uh, banged up a little bit. Yeah, he was taken to uh, Soldier from Oregon. Yeah, up in Aurelia yeah, Hospital. I think his wife or his partner ran as well. There was two people at work. Yeah. His wife was what? There was two people at yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They both went to the hospital. Yeah, well, I can imagine. Yeah. I want to try to float it down here with Grace so we can lift it over. Yeah. Now we'll go up and peek at it. Let's go down there and see the rocks that are out the roof. Oh, I'm going to check that out. Definitely. Were you here last night? Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, just looking well, at Having said that, that's kind of dangerous because you got all this electrical running in here. Yeah. So it's running out to the pier. Yeah. Yeah, because they would probably never even think about this walking No, well, you can see, like I said, we're just looking at how much this whole section of rocks was, was pushed back. You can see the gap that's in here now. Like it uh, moved everything, you know, three to six inches over. Incredible force, eh? There he's free. Looks like he's only got one engine going, eh? Look at the water coming out of the bilge pump off the side. I wonder if you'll need that table. Yeah. Look good on my boat. Vultures are here. Picking the sea ray and fire. Thanks, Paul. So the ending uh, wind up part of that story was um, after we left, just what you saw there uh, where we were filming up on the um, break wall. We were coming back and there was um, unfortunately uh, an, an older gentleman, a boater who keeps his boat here in the marina, actually right over there. Him and his wife had walked down as well to, to see what was going on. And uh, unfortunately he fell, he slipped between a couple of big rocks, broke his leg and was immobile. So I called uh, 911, uh, but when the ambulance got there, they couldn't get the stretcher out to where he was just because, you know, all these rocks that you have to be really careful with your with your footing as as was. So this stretcher on, on wheels just wasn't going to happen. So they brought one of those um, uh, evacuation boards, like those plastic boards. Um, I don't know what they're called. Anyways. He, uh, we got him out of his little area where he was stuck in, uh, got him onto that, and five or six of us all just, we ended up carrying him out uh, and back down to where the stretcher was. Uh, the good thing was, was that there was five or six of us on it because today was a little bit of an off day with my condition, so uh, the weakness was there and the unsure footedness. Um, so, you know, we went about 100 feet and stopped, put him down, rested, and then carried on. So it was all good. Looks like he's going to be okay. They took him up to the hospital, and if it's just a broken leg, then you know he should mend fairly, uh, fairly quickly and easily. Uh, so that was really uh, a, the saddest part of the whole story, simply because the sea ray can be replaced easily. It's only a boat. Uh, hopefully, uh, Ron, that uh, he's back on his feet in uh, in no time. And um, that was that. Uh, as far as the boaters that were in the the vessel that hit the sea ray story we got was the captain was driving he got banged up in his chest against the uh, the steering wall uh, anyway so that's that uh, I'll let you know if we hear any anything more uh, the last we saw that the boat was heading north on the lake don't know why they took it up uh, towards Aurelia way where they could have just brought it right here in the marina our la launch ramp is right there you guys have seen it before in my videos big uh, travel lift they could have easily hoisted that boat out and then trailered it to wherever they wanted to go, but they braved the elements, took it up to uh, Aurelia, which is probably about a 10 mile uh, at the speed they were going, at least a, a hour and a half, two hour trip to get it up there. So hopefully they got there safely. So we don't have to worry about a sunken boat in Lake Simcoe that we have to avoid. Anyways, like I say, I'll uh, keep you posted if I hear any more, more news. So that's that. Happy boating, safe boating.